The other day I was trying to back up the save game files for Lego Ninjago. If it's set to cloud status, it does save the save game files to your computer. Um, here's the help page that mentions where you can find it. So it also mentions Mac and Linux. But for today, I'm showing where it's at for Windows. So my Windows 10 machine over here. You go to Program Files on the C drive, Steam, and User Data. Then after that, it's the hard part's figuring out which game you have and which file you need. So I was able to find it by doing some searching. What might help is if you go to the Steam Cloud Storage. You know how I mentioned in the very beginning? What's it called? Over here there's a setting where things are backed up, the save games are backed up to the cloud. And you can even go into settings over here. Properties. And over here Steam Cloud. It mentions it's being saved. I think that's the default setting for most games. So Lego Ninjago the movie. Uh, let me go back to the web page. If you go to this URL over here, unfortunately, if you go to your Steam powered account through a web page, and you go to account, you can't. There's no. I I couldn't find a link to go to the remote storage, so you actually have to enter in this URL. But if you do that, in my case. Let me remove the app ID. The reason why I'm mentioning this is because, oops, not steel, remote storage, like that. You'll get a menu like this, which shows you the games. And so from here, you can choose the game under show files. So I want Ninjago. Sorry, it's really bright right now. Click show files. And now it can show you the file directory, how it's saved. And if you go to the very top, it'll give you the app ID, which is 640590. And if I go back to the folder for save games, so again, program files, Steam user data. Once I go into the first directory, into here, let me show you from user data. You have to find out what the app ID is, but if you log into remote, sto remote storage, it'll tell you what your app ID is. And so then I said 64590, and then you can go into remote and then copy the save games. Hopefully that helps some people.